sends me this link to Tasty on BuzzFeed video. And let's be completely clear, let's be honest with each other. I do not have the BuzzFeed video app installed on my phone. So, what we're going to do is we're gonna tap the URL and it's gonna take me right into BuzzFeed Video's Android app without installing it. Like this, go. What's happening here is Google Play is fetching only the pieces of the app that we need right now. There. We are in the Android app, and I didn't even have to install it. It was pretty fast too, right? So here you can see there's a bunch of different videos showing to make a whole bunch of different recipes, and the videos start playing automatically. Remember, it's a real Android app, right? and I can just swipe and go to the next video really quickly. The app was able to open so fast because it's been split up into modules. When Ficus tapped the link, Google Play downloaded only the code that was necessary to display this screen. And if I want to keep BuzzFeed Video on my home screen, it's simple to install the app right here. Here's another example. b &H Photo and Video has a beautiful Android app but I don't have it on my phone because I don't show up for cameras every day. Now, if I'm searching for something specific, like a camera bag, I can still get that same experience. With one tap, the app opens up right to the bag I wanna buy. Technically, this is a deep link to the Android activity b &H wrote to display this product page. And that's all Google Play needed to download. I can also swipe here and see more details about the bag. Now, when I add it to my cart, the animation there, it was pretty slick. And at checkout times, Android Pay works, just like if I had the app installed. I don't have to pull out my credit card or type in my name and address. With Android Instant Apps, I'm already signed in and I'm ready to pay. And so it's gonna take me two taps, not two minutes. Finally, see how Android Instant Apps could help me when I'm out and about. So, I walk up to a parking meter and I need to pay. I'm in a real hurry today and I don't have time to install a parking app. But what if I could just tap my phone and with NFC, it could bring up the parking app immediately. All I have to do is choose how long I want to park. I'm already done. And now Ficus can run off the stage to his meeting and even add more parking time later if he really needs to. So that's Android Instant Apps. As a user, it's totally seamless from launching the app to signing in to making payments. Now, as a developer, you'll update your existing app. It's the same Android APIs, the same project, and the same source code. And it can take less than a day of work depending on how your app is built. You'll modularize your app, and Google Play will download only the parts that are needed on the fly, as we saw here. We're really excited to give developers more ways to get their apps into the hands of users. In addition to discovering your apps in the Play Store and installing them, Instant Apps will provide another on-ramp. People can use your Instant App directly, and, as we showed earlier, if they want to install it, that's easy too.